Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the inaugural episode of our podcast, where we embark on a journey into the heart of music, celebrating the stories behind the beats and lyrics that resonate with us, as well as the great sports stories of the world. Today, I've chosen to start this odyssey on a high note, and what better anthem for triumph and gratitude than God Did by DJ Khaled? God Did kicks off with a beat that sets the tone for triumph. As we embark on this musical journey, we witness DJ Khaled, Rick Ross, Lil Wayne and Jay-Z collectively embracing their success and proclaiming it to the world. The song becomes an anthem for those who've overcome challenges and emerged victorious. The beat becomes a heartbeat, pulsating with the rhythm of resilience and victory. The musical elements pave the way for the artists to share their stories of triumph. We also see John Legend and Friday on the song. They provide the chorus, which is a powerful affirmation of faith and gratitude. They are both talented artists and their voices blend beautifully on the chorus. They add a sense of uplift and positivity to the song, and their contribution is essential to its overall impact. They provide a powerful and uplifting chorus that perfectly complements the verses. The Chorus As we delve into the chorus, the message becomes crystal clear, a resounding testament to resilience and faith. The artists lay bare the trials they faced, the doubters who dismissed them, and the moments when the world seemed against them. Yet in the face of adversity, they found unwavering strength and motivation in one place, God's love. The pre-chorus unfolds with a reflection on the challenges, the attempts to bring them down, the skepticism they faced, the counts against their potential success. It's a moment that captures the collective journey of the artists, marked by adversity and a prevailing sense of doubt. As we listen to these lines, it's impossible not to feel the weight of the obstacles they had to overcome. Then, the chorus emerges like a divine affirmation, a declaration of unwavering faith and belief. They didn't believe in us, but I know God did. These lines resonate beyond the music, carrying a universal message of finding strength in something greater, of weathering storms with the knowledge that divine love is a constant. In the grandeur of these lines, there's a profound acknowledgement of the power of belief, an assertion that when the world turned its back, God stood by. This chorus is not just a musical refrain. It's a testament to the artist's resilience and a universal call to hold on to faith even in the face of doubt. And here's the beauty. You don't have to be a fan of the genre to understand the power the chorus has. It's a universal anthem, a melody that transcends musical boundaries and speaks to the core of the human experience. In these lines, anyone can find solace, strength, and a reminder that, no matter the circumstances, there's a force greater than ourselves guiding us forward. As we conclude our exploration of the chorus, it's evident that God did transcends musical boundaries. It becomes a spiritual journey, a reminder that in the midst of life's trials, faith can be an anchor. The artists through these lines extend an invitation to embrace the divine, to find solace in God's unwavering belief when the world wavers. The chorus becomes a powerful affirmation that resonates far beyond the beats and lyrics, inviting us all to reflect on the source of our strength and the unyielding power of belief. The Verses Rick Ross Rick Ross takes the mic with an unapologetic celebration of success. His verse paints vivid imagery of a lavish lifestyle, acknowledging the haters and doubters, but solidifying his stance in the world of opulence. His words become a proclamation of resilience and an assertion of his lasting impact. Lil Wayne Lil Wayne's verse adds a layer of introspection to the narrative. He balances boastfulness with reflective moments, acknowledging not only his accomplishments, but also the sacrifices made along the journey. He becomes a storyteller, sharing glimpses of his life and expressing gratitude for the love and support he's received. Jay-Z the lyrical labyrinth Jay-Z weaves is not just a string of rhymes, it's a tapestry of his journey from humble beginnings to billionaire status, interwoven with reflections on his legacy. In the early lines, Jay-Z nods to his alias, Hov, expressing pride in his billionaire status alongside other icons like Rihanna, Kanye West, and LeBron James. It's a communal elevation, a celebration of transcending societal expectations rooted in humble origins. The mention of weed is not just a casual reference, but a nod to Jay-Z's legitimate business venture, Monogram, a cannabis company. 
As the CEO, Jay-Z has turned a page, becoming the head of a legal drug business, drawing a poignant parallel to his past as a metaphorical drug lord in the streets. All this pain from the outside inspired all this growth within. Here, Jay-Z bears his soul. The external challenges, the pain and scrutiny have fueled an internal growth. It's a reflection on how adversity becomes the catalyst for personal evolution, a theme universal to many. And then, the metaphorical new planes, a nod to his clothing line, paper planes, and a literal reference to his recent acquisition of a new private jet. Breaking it in becomes symbolic, not just of a new aircraft, but of breaking into new heights of success and luxury. This verse, a tapestry of autobiography, braggadocio, poetry, and personal reflection, showcases Jay-Z's unparalleled skill as a lyricist. Each line is a brushstroke, painting a vivid portrait of a man who not only rose above adversity, but transformed it into a masterpiece. In the grand symphony of God Did, Jay-Z's verse stands as a lyrical masterpiece. It's not just a recounting of success, but a reflection on the evolution from street narratives to boardroom triumphs. As we navigate the intricate web of his words, we're invited into the mind of a mogul, a poet laureate of hip-hop, crafting verses that transcend music, resonating with anyone on a journey of growth and self-discovery. Conclusion As we conclude this episode, I want to express that this podcast is more than just an analysis. It's a celebration of the stories that have woven themselves into the fabric of our lives. Each beat, each lyric, and each artist plays a unique part in our individual narratives. In the crescendo of our exploration into God Did, we find ourselves immersed in a celebration of more than just musical genius. This is a celebration of black excellence, a testament to the indomitable spirit that defies odds and rises to unparalleled heights. God Did echoes not only as a symphony of individual success, but as a collective anthem of possibility. In the verses and choruses, we glimpse into the lives of artists who transformed what was once deemed impossible into their everyday reality. This is more than music. It's a manifestation of dreams realized and dreams yet to unfold. It's a reminder that with unwavering faith in the Most High, coupled with relentless hard work, the unimaginable becomes attainable. As we close this episode, let's carry the echoes of God did with us, a resounding affirmation that greatness knows no boundaries. Through the tapestry of stories woven into the lyrics, we're reminded that the journey from adversity to triumph is a collective narrative, one that inspires generations and reshapes destinies. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of God Did. May the stories embedded in the music continue to inspire, empower, and remind us that indeed, God did.